It's so nice to see a young couple with their shiny faces and their hearts beating and their hands clasped together. It's, people think there's nothing more beautiful than young love. Well, I'm here to tell you there is. It's an old man and an old woman who faces still shine when they look at each other, whose hands may be gnarled now but still hold each other, whose hearts beat maybe a little slower. There is something better than young love, and it's old love. And that's why we're here today, to pray that you two experience old love to come. Almost a year ago, you exchanged rings with one another as a sign of your love and fidelity. And so we pray today, Lord, increase the love which Kara and Brendan have for one another. These rings that they once exchanged are the sign of their fidelity. May they continue to prosper in the grace of the sacrament. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. Almighty and eternal God, you have so exalted the unbreakable bond of marriage that it has become the sacramental sign of your son's union with the church as his spouse. Look with favor on Kara and Brendan, whom you united in marriage, as they ask for your help and the protection of the Virgin Mary. They pray that in good times and in bad, they will grow in love for each other, that they will resolve to be of one heart in the bond of peace. Lord, in their struggles, let them rejoice that you are near to help them. In their needs, let them know that you are there to rescue them. In their joys, let them see that you are the source and completion of every happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, it is my privilege to introduce to you <laughs> again on the, on the uh, eve of the anniversary of their marriage, Mr. and Mrs. Kara and Brendan Paul. obviously been practicing that part. <laughs> you. You're the best twin sister anyone could ask for. I'm truly lucky having a Dalton best friend. I know I can always count on you for anything. Brendan, this guy never gave up on winning Kara over. No matter how far apart they were in college, whether they were in the same town or hundreds of miles apart, this man constantly was striving to be in the very spot he is right now, next to her on her wedding day as her husband. This couple, they're always on the go. 
I think I know Kara well enough, and you two will never be bored. Your lives are truly going to be full of adventure. Who knew you two meeting in Disney World on a band trip would start the beginning of your love story? You two are perfect for each other, and I can't wait to watch your story continue. You both have been through so much to get to this point. Uh, I've, I've been realized this country song best symbolizes the love between Brennan and Kara. Uh, in this song, a boy and a girl are dating in high school. Uh, after high school, they break up and go their separate ways. Uh, the girl goes to college and the boy works graveyard. Uh, they happen to meet and go out again. Uh, after they go out, they basically catch up. They realize that their love is still there. It's stronger than ever. Uh, after listening to the song, I realized that I hope to one day have this love uh, with someone that both Brendan and Kara have between each other. Kara, uh, I will always remember the good times we had at Grandma Hum's pool and at Deep Creek Lake with grandmother and grandpa. The years have flown by with memories I will never forget. Brendan, <laughs> we met you when you were just 15 years old <laughs> and quite a few years ago so but three and a half years I had an unfortunate accident and I broke my neck and you were there for the family and suggested a good neurosurgeon and providing support throughout my 12-hour surgery <laughs> for that I am forever grateful and we are extremely proud of your accomplishments and the young man that you have become Buddy. <laughs> Yeah, right. And happiness and all the blessings this life has to offer. That's obviously a tough one to fall, but thankfully I've had over a year and a half to prepare for this since Brennan asked me. Unfortunately, when I originally was thinking of this a year and a half ago and realized I was going to have all this time, I thought this would turn out like a Van Gogh painting, Starry Night, be nice and beautiful. But as time went on and I failed to plan ahead, which is typical for me, <laughs> I figured it's going to end up more like a Jackson Pollock, so <laughs> I apologize to all of you. But at any rate, I think Kyle really said things very well. We're just so proud of these two and the love they have for each other, and we're so happy to be here celebrating this evening. So if we could all just raise a glass, cheers. Cheers.